So here we are, we're multiplying really, really big numbers. And this is crazy. But luckily, you have the use of a calculator. So we're going to show you, one, how to do it if you didn't have a calculator. And then we're going to show you, well, the easy way, how to do it with a calculator, right? Okay, here we go. Ready? Big numbers, let's do it. Ready? Four numbers. So multiplication is pretty hard when you get this big. So let's do the old-fashioned way. 5, 6, 5, 1 times 8. One, eight, four. Now, so here's what we do. Ready? Each number gets multiplied by each number. We put those numbers down on the bottom, and then we add them all up. So let's go through it. Ready? Four times one is four. Four times five is 20. Carry the two. Four times six is 24, plus two more is 26. Four times five is 20, plus two more is 22. That's just one number. Crazy, right? So let's do the next one. 8. So that's done, right? So since it's done, i got to put a 0 there. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. Carry my 4 now, because that 40, the 0 goes here and the 4 goes up. So 8 times 6 is 48. 48 plus 4 more is 52. Carry my 5 now. 8 times 5 is 40. Plus 5 more. 45. So see how it went one over? That's how you know you did it right. We went one over. So now we let's go to our next number, the number one. So now since I have two numbers, I have X'd out, I have two zeros. So again, one times one is one. One times five is five. One times six is six. One times five is five. Now this one's going to stay the same, but that's only because it was the number one. Right? Make sure we did it right. Yeah, we did it right, okay? So X out the one. Now we're gonna put three zeros. Crazy, I know. Imagine if you had this much money, right? Eight times one is eight. Eight times five is 40. Carry my little four. Eight times six is 48, plus four more is 52. Carry my five. Eight times five is 40, plus five, 45. So I've got a really, really giant number, and so we have to add it. So let's do it in columns. 4 plus 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 is 4. 0 plus 8, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 is 8. 6 plus 1 is 7. 2 plus 2 plus 5 plus 8 is 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 8 is 17. Carry my 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 6 is 14 plus 0 is 14, carry my 1, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12, carry my 2, put my 1 here, 5 plus 1 is 6, 4 plus nothing is 4, and here's my big number, 4, so let's put some commas in here, 46,247,784, giant number, and it took me 5 minutes and 40 seconds to solve it. Crazy. So let's put it in. Make sure I did it right. Whew. I did it right. That would have been so sad had I done it wrong. All right. So luckily, I'm not going to make you sit there and spend five minutes doing a number problem like that. I'm going to be the guy who says, you know what, you get to use a calculator. But I wanted you to understand how it worked in case one day, like, all the calculators, you know, they become robots and they take over the world or something. Who knows, right? So, what we're going to do first, we're just going to do this just in the calculator, okay? The key is, is you've got to enter it exactly as you see it. Let's pull up the calculator so we can see it up on the screen. So I want you to be able to see it the same way I do. Ready? So we're going to take the number. 9, 8, 2, 3, hit our little multiply button right here, 8, 2, 9, 8, boom, answer, 81,511,254, now isn't that easier, right, come on. I kind of hoping maybe I'd be able to copy and paste, but you can't. Where'd my calculator go? 
eighty-one million. Got to remember that now. Eighty-one million five hundred and eleven two five four eight one five one one two five four. So I won't do another one like that because you can see how it works. Right? But the gist is that you can do it the old-fashioned way, take five minutes. You can do it the calculator way, take about a minute and a half. But either way, you can do it. Just make sure you enter the numbers in exactly as they appear. And that's it.